He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. So this birth report is for those who are 22. So 22 is the two is cooperation and balance. The 20 is cooperation and balance with inner gifts. So those who are born on the path of 22 are here to use their inner gifts in a spirit of service and to establish healthy boundaries and balanced responsibility in order to achieve joyful cooperation and mutual support. From this point of balance, 22s can operate cooperatively serve the common good out of love and caring rather than codependence. Not all codependents work 22, of course, nor do all 22s behave like codependents. But until they find a balance point, 22s tend to feel overly responsible and overhelped. Then they feel resentful and withdraw emotionally. Because 22s feel so responsible on some level, they blame themselves, even for other people's problems. They quickly find fault with others as a defensive mechanism, as if to say, it's not my fault. All 22s need to take full responsibility for their own life, but not feel responsible for the lives of others, except, of course, in appropriate situations, such as caring for their children. Most 22s need to define clearly the difference between service and servitude. In the larger sense, 22s can develop the ability to cooperate with life itself, rather than resisting the situations or circumstances they meet. In their life and relationships, 22s start out doing too much. Then the pendulum swings the other way and they freeze up, resist, and withdraw. They're here to find their comfort zone and define their limits, choosing to do what they feel good about and when they don't feel good, knowing when to say enough before they have to say, I'm fed up. As 22s get in touch with what they feel rather than what they or others think they should feel, they can truly support and also feel supported by others. Those working 22s have many resonant issues, such as the need to apply a step-by-step -step approach to problem solving. Although 22s thrive in support positions, they can certainly become leaders or artists in any field. Usually they feel most satisfied if they're supporting others who work toward larger causes. 22s have minds that tend to run in circles when they're making decisions, weighing out all the variables, care, comparing every benefit and liability in order to feel they are doing what they should. Most 22s are also concerned about stability and keeping everything under control. Disorder feels like chaos to them and may bring up childhood fears. The greatest challenge for 22s is finding their own internal harmony. They thrive when they give their analytical mind some time off and let other people solve their own problems. When 22s contact their internal sense of harmony and set their own boundaries, they serve as a standard of balance by which others can set their own internal mechanisms. Along with innate strength and surprising sturdiness, whatever their body type, 
too can apply their inner gifts of sensitivity, strength, expression, and intuition, or refined intuition, to their work in the world. With their extra sensitivity, 22s need to remember that if others get themselves stuck in the dark or difficult places, they can offer their support if they feel moved to do so, but they are not responsible for others' predicaments. They do not need to get others out of the holes they've got themselves into. Sometimes people need to stay in a dark place before they're ready to be saved and may not truly help them. Saving people will not help. It's not for us to decide what others do any more than others should decide what is appropriate for us. So those working 22 do best to serve from a centered place of compassion and detachment. When 22s work in the positive, these individuals balance strength and flexibility, home and work, time for others and time for themselves. Their bodies stay relaxed and subtle, reflecting their internal energy because they won't worry less and intuit more. They are problem solvers and mediators in family or business. They help others to reach agreement just as they have reached internal harmony and integration within themselves, using both their strength and se sensitivity to support of others. They feel useful and appreciated. They support and appreciate themselves as well as honoring their boundaries, feelings, and limits. When 22s are working in the negative, no one ever knows what these individuals want not even themselves. They're too preoccupied doing what they think they're supposed to do, and they're quick to expect that others should do the same. Chronically codependent, they feel responsible for almost everything, keeping the moon and stars in place while meeting everyone's needs. Other people's whims become their demands. They sacrifice for others and then resent it. They tend to give too much and resist or withdraw completely. Physically, mentally, and emotionally stressed from worrying about everyone else, they suffer from allergies and other ailments. Their strong, general, vigorous body and robust disposition fight off most illnesses, but 22s are prone to tension as their worry and their busy mind impose chronic thought-produced stress on their body. Allergies may flare up in times of stress and physical tension may obstruct the efficient working of the lymphatic portion of the immune system. Most 22s tend toward either stocky, wide bodies reflecting their strength or more wiry bodies that are surprisingly resilient. When excessive weight is an issue, 22s benefit from aerobic exercise and a low fat diet, along with stretching, deep breathing, and relaxation or meditation training. Meditation is very important for 22s, but they tend to avoid preferring outward expansive training for strength a quality they already have in abundance. Most 22s have great potential strength, but lack flexibility. So the best kind of exercise for them is to teach flow, subtleness, and balance, as dance, yoga, tai chi, and other martial arts that emphasize stretching and relaxation. Nearly all 22s have close ties to the subconscious, so they benefit from hypnosis and from positive visualization in contrast to the negative fantasies and concerns to which they sometimes fall prey. In relationships, 
Most 22s tend to withhold their feelings when they are over cooperating because they aren't always sure what they feel or if it's okay to feel that way. They generally pay attention to their partner's needs and feelings first, but then they feel burdened if they believe they're giving more support than they're getting. The tendency of 22s to over cooperate and then under cooperate reveals itself most clearly in relationships. They put their feelings on the back burner until something inside of them bursts and then they become reactive and resentful. Anger or resentment are signs that 22s have been over cooperating. They typically start out a relationship in cooperation, tossing their own values, interests, and needs out the window, and then, in a chameleon-like behavior, become whatever their partner seems to want. Then eventually, they swing into under-cooperation and withdraw or resist. If their relationship ends, they feel hurt. I gave so much and he or she has left me. The ability to compromise and negotiate is crucial for 22s in relationships. I'll do this much if you can do that much. They're here to learn this kind of mutual cooperation. Sexually, 22s follow the same patterns, first doing what they think the other person wants them to do. This period may go on for a short period or many years until they become frigid or impotent or just withdraw sexually. Their subconscious turns off from a sense of having given too much. If this happens, 22s and their partners need to see a professional and try to open up lines of communication and rapport. Having a little talk won't be enough. When inspired, these 22s walk a straight path through life, balanced and unswayed by others' emotions, desires, or opinions. They can excel in any fields due to a balance of strength and sensitivity. All 22s with their inner gifts demonstrate a powerful combination of strength and sensitivity that creates unusual capacities that always don't show on the surface. Like 44s, they generally gravitate toward family life and serve as a supportive, dependable, caring, helpful, and parents when they working in when they're working in the positive. They can also serve as diplomats or diplomats in family squabbles or in the larger world of organizations or government. Those working 22s have excellent organizing and coordinating abilities and make excellent mediators or negotiators. They often serve as invaluable assistants or support people whose presence at work make a real difference in any enterprise. They don't always work behind the scenes. Sometimes they take center stage in front of the cameras or even in the Oval Office. But for every famous 22, thousands work effectively behind the scenes. Security is very important to 22s and entails knowing that the rent or mortgage money is available with enough left over to put food on the table. Their practical nature will lead 22s quite intuitively to a secure situation they seek and to the form of service that suits their abilities and temperament. By focusing your attention on core issues and by generating specific actions to transform key areas of your life, these guidelines and recommendations will help. When making decisions, Write your ideas down and then trust your intuition. Learn to say no and feel okay about it.
exercise daily and be sure to include stretching and relaxation in your routine. Balance your giving with receiving. Reflect on the following questions. Do you sometimes bend too far backward for people and then feel resentful? Where does your responsibility end and other people's begin? Do you respect your comfort zone? Do you feel trapped in any life situation? If these questions generate any insights, how might you put these insights into practice? Some universal spiritual laws that can help change your life. The law of responsibility. When we know when to say yes and how to say no, we find mutual support and joy in service. The law of balance. Seeking our ten tendency to swing from one extreme to another, we find our balance point. The law of cycles. Life is a circle of repeating changes, rising and falling like the seasons. The law of patterns. Patterns tend to reassert themselves unless we exert strong leverage to change them. The law of flexibility. Staying flexible, we make the best use of difficulties and changing circumstances. Consider how you might apply each law into your life. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.